All right, this is a typical, what they call a stick and tin built, wood frame, uh, generally built out of one by four, laid flat ways, and insulated with plain old fiberglass insulation. It's heavy because wood, believe it or not, is very heavy to get to the amount of strength that you need to do almost anything. Now, what I wanna show you on this is this is very typical corner trim. This vinyl piece, which is replaceable and should be replaced because you see how brittle it's getting, breaking up. That covers the screws, so it's decorative. But this corner molding actually holds the camper together. They'll staple this tin into the wood and then put this corner molding on with a layer of, uh, of sealant tape underneath on the underside and they'll form it around and they'll screw it. But as you can see, let me show you this. See how crooked that is? That's a factory screw. It's like they worked from the side and they put it in from an angle. And every one of them, once this plastic fails, will let water in. Now I've already taken the trim off of this side, as you can see here. There's the staples. It's not doing anything because it's in the rotted wood. Here's the, the sealant tape. This stuff does hold up pretty well. But it doesn't necessarily give over time and follow as it falls apart. And this material here, I mean, it's just, it's just rotted in there. The only thing holding it on is the window. Water gets in there, has nowhere to go, rots out. That's a very conventional way to build. It takes a lot of maintenance, a lot more than you realize. You need to pull that corner trim off and seal it every once in a while. So that, that's why this one is my donor parts camper. I'm gonna use the windows and all the fittings and stuff out of this.